I got to say, this whole investigation is really frustrating to me. And to make matters worse, um, you know, I think, you know, I've got this kind of nervous thing. This, uh, my, my nerves are kind of weird. Yes. And uh, it, it, unfortunately, it prevents me from being able to hold a camera steady like I used to be able to. I went to a, a reservoir near my house a couple of days ago. I got a cheap telescope. Uh, it was like 30 bucks at the uh, Academy Sports. I think it was like a hundred or 150 power telescope, something like that. Mm -hmm. And so I went to the reservoir and the math says I shouldn't be able to see, you know, the, the other, the, the, the shoreline on the other side. Um, yes. But I already knew that I would be able to, I just wanted to try to document it. So I went out there with the telescope, looked through it. I could see stuff that it, theoretically I shouldn't be able to see on the other side. But when I was trying to get the camera into the eyepiece to take a picture of it, my fucking hands were like, I couldn't, because you're looking through such a small hole. Yeah, you know, that's already shaking on a cheesy tri tripod to begin with. <laughs> when between that and and the, my shaky nervous problem, I was I was so frustrated because I can't I couldn't get the picture that I wanted to get. You know, so I'm like, <laughs> uh, so I, I'm I'm frustrated by what my own physical limitations and and optics and stuff like that right now. But I'm I'm it's like okay, I could go out with a pair of binoculars and a pair of teles you know a telescope or something and look across the distance and see things I'm not supposed to see, but then everybody's just gonna have to believe me. You know? Right. And so I I'm like determined to try to find a way to, to where I can document it. And, and even if I do that, I'm telling people, look, don't, I'm, I'm, I'm just showing you what I did. You can take it or leave it. Yeah. It, believe me or don't believe me. I frankly don't care, but I'm going to try to document it as best as I can. And then you should go out and repeat the test for yourself. You know, that's one, but I, I'm, I'm just saying, man, it, it's getting frustrating because some of the tests I want to do are at uh, eight to 12 miles in distance. And, you know, a camera zoom is okay for that, but it's, it's not ideal. So you really kind of need to help with that. And, uh, you know, just the frustration of mating a camera to uh, binoc a binoculars or a telescope. I don't, I don't have the equipment and I don't have the desire to spend the kind of money that some of that stuff costs to uh, do it. So I don't know. I, I, I'm frustrated by it, but at the same time, I, I'm putting the call out for everybody who who's watching or reading any of the stuff I'm putting out and say, Hey, look, go out there and do this stuff for yourself and then post the results for me because I want to see it too.